All right, guys, what's going on? This is a PS3 custom firmware video for you with a package called the PS3 Cloud Drive 1.1.5. This is going to be a direct package file download, so there's no archives or whatever, so you don't have to extract anything. And uh, this is pretty simple inst uh, install. So uh, basically, what this is is it's Google Drive, and uh, I haven't tested it yet, so I'm going to test it on the video with you guys. Uh, so first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug in a USB drive. You're going to need a PS3 running on custom firmware, CEX or DEX base. Uh, preferably probably some 4.XX custom firmware. Plug in a USB and open up the drives. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to uh, make a folder called packages, all lowercase letters if you haven't already. If you do, just open that up and uh, you can see already I've copied the PS3 cloud drive over which is exactly what you're gonna do just take it and uh, simply drag and drop and copy that over there I've already done that though so I'm not gonna do that so uh, that's that so after you download it from the link below in the description uh, just copy it over to your packages folder on the root of your USB stick and that is about it so now we're pretty much ready to go over to the PS3 and I'm going to show you how to install this package file uh, both ways that you can do it whether you're running rebug custom firmware or a DEX custom firmware or uh, Rogero so uh, let's go to the PS3 and I'll meet you guys there alright so here we are at the PS3 and uh, at the PS3 just simply going to uh, Go over and scroll all the way over to your game and um, what you're going to do is you're going to plug your USB in that you've been working on and uh, after you do that you're going to scroll down to well depending on what custom firmware you're on so you're going to want to scroll up uh, you'll see install package files this is for DEX custom firmwares and rebug custom firmware um, you can just click here and you will see the package files ready to install right there like so but uh, that's not going to be like that with uh, the Rogero so you have to use Multiman so scroll down to your tools and uh, or well where I got my tools and locate your Multiman so I'm just going to go here and start up Multiman allow Multiman to boot up and I will show you how to install the package files using Multiman. Alright, so uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to scroll over here all the way to the uh, what would be users on the regular one and you'll see install package files. If you click on install package files, scroll down and you will see the PS3 Cloud version 1.15. What you do is hit triangle to queue and then you or execute and then triangle to install now I already have this installed so I'm just gonna go back and uh, do all that fun jazz and uh, and then after that you're gonna it'll automatically quit multi-man but uh, I'm just going to manually quit it now because I've already installed this Google Drive and uh, I'm just going to go and show you what it's going to be doing here and foremost moving on so after that you're going to come up here and at the top of these folders you'll see a PSN looking bubble thing and you just hit triangle on it and install it and then after you install it you will see the PS3 Cloud Drive so go ahead and start it up allow the drive to start up and you will see PlayStation 3 Cloud Drive and uh, your user code is this and that and blah 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 and uh, just hit X and it should bring you back to the XMB so now you're registered with the Google Drive um, I will list in the description on how to do everything distinctly. I'm not going to do it now because I'm having some trouble with the recorder. But other than that, that's how you install the Google Drive. And it'll assign your unit a specific Google Drive uh, thing that you can link with your Google account that you make. Or you might have to make a new one, I'm not sure. Um, 
But other than that, that's how you install it. So now you can back up whatever to your Google Drive account that has just been created for you. So yeah, thank you these guys. I uh, hope you find use for this little homebrew here. And um, other than that, take it easy, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to donate and check out my website, software-reborn.com. And um, that's uh, pretty much it. So, yeah, talk to you guys later. Enjoy your homebrew, and I will see you as soon as possible with more homebrew and applications and things like that to come.